Mendel the rock star monk decided to carry out some little tests here, and I'm going to show you an example of what he did. Essentially, he took two parents, and he crossed them, and he had the magic of botany knowledge, and he could make it so that, number one, he could ensure that each line of plants was a true breeding line. And by that, a true breeding line of plants just meant that if you crossed this white plant with another white plant, you got white plants. And forever, no matter how, who you crossed with who, you always ended up with baby white plants. And those baby white plants, no matter who they crossed with in that line of white plants, they always ended up with more baby white plants. Same thing with the purple plants. These were true breeding purple plants. And here's what he found out. Now, keep in mind, he knows nothing. Chromosomes, genes, alleles, nothing. He's got nothing. But he found out that when he crossed carefully a true breeding white plant, and this is the phenotype. Do you agree with that? He doesn't even know genotypes exist, but he does know that the phenotype is a white flower here and is a purple flower here. And when he crossed these true breeders, 100% of his babies, with no exceptions, were what color do you want to guess? Purple because purple is cooler than white. Just kidding. Purple, because purple was dominant. This is the dominant trait. He didn't know that. We do. We're smarter than Mendel. Just kidding. So 100% of our babies were purple babies. So then he's like, dude, I got this. He called this, these babies, he called them the F1 generation. So then he's like, let's make those babies make babies. So he took F1 generation, a purple F1, and he crossed it, oops, by another purple F1. So he took, and then, and that cross resulted in the F2 generation. Can you visualize this? I wish I had. I'm going to draw you a purple plant, a purple flower, and I can't draw a pea flower there. Right? It looks exactly like that. <laughs> so we crossed two purple pea flowers, but they were the F1 pea flowers. Are you going to guess that these pea flowers are now true breeding? Well, if we follow this pattern, then we certainly would expect what? 100% purple babies. Not so. In fact, he ended up with 75% purple babies and 25% white babies. And he was like, what? How did this happen? He did it over and over with a bunch of different traits, and each time he figured out that there was this ratio. In fact, we can call this a 3 to 1 phenotypic ratio. We now know that it's three dominant phenotypes in these babies to one recessive phenotype in the babies. And hopefully you're thinking, like, how is this possible? I'm going to draw you a picture of how he came up with these results when we get to the Punnett square section. But I think it's important to realize that this, he actually, he was able to draw conclusions without knowing anything else. He doesn't know anything that we know. When we look at our Punnett square, we're going to make a Punnett square and we're going to use our genetic knowledge, but he didn't have it yet. So let's look at the conclusions that he drew just based on looking at these results.